Cowboys team getting creative on the offensive end. Top of the first. Nobody out. Bases loaded. Mike Lieberthal at bat. Pass ball for Javi Lopez. Jimmy Rollins scores. 1-0 Philly. So they got to run on a pass ball. Top of the fourth. Still 1-0 Phils. One out. Two on base. Randy Wolf up. Rafael for call. Coming home, but not in time. Tomas Perez beats the throw. So they've got to run now on a fielder's choice. Top of the fifth. Fills up 4-1. Wild pitch for Mike Hampton. Mike Lieberthal scores. So now they've got to run on a wild pitch. They did score the traditional way as well. The traditional way and Jim Tomey going the other way. Solo shot for him is 18th and the Phil's going to win it 8-1. to one. Our next stop is Bush for the Reds and the Cardinals. Top second, two outs, no score. Adam Dunn on second. Listen to this. Hunter stealing third and the throw down hits Dunn in the face. Actually, the ball hit off his helmet. That's why you wear it running the bases, but Dunn would stay in the game. All right, is there any player hotter than Bo Hart? I can answer that for you. No. No player in at least 30 years has gotten hits in his first six games in the big leagues. Hart has 15 hits for him so far. Bottom second, man on first with one out Thursday night. It's hard up. And make it seven games with a base hit for Hart. Three for five with an RBI. He's hitting 514 in those seven games. Next batter, Jim Edmonds. And he's bringing Woody Williams and Hart home with him. Cardinals going to win at 11-7. Albert Pujols, four hits in the game. Orioles and Blue Jays, time to play who's an all-star. First up in our game, Burton Wells. 305 batting average, 19 homers, 72 RBIs. Came in with a 17-game hit streak. Runners on the corners. Wells shatters his bat, but there's no controversy there. It goes by Tony Batista. Two runs would come in. Wells is credited with a double, two RBIs, and he now has an 18-game hitting streak, and we have a tie game. Next up on Who's an All-Star? Melvin Mora. A 366 batting average to lead the AL. 11 homers, 33 RBIs. O's down by three runs, two on Mora. He's still hot. Two would come in for that, double by Mora. All he did was win two for three with three RBI. He's now batting an AL leading 370. We're talking about Melvin Mora. Melvin Mora! Last on who's an all-star? None. Oh, Carlos Delgado. 311 batting average, 23 homers to lead the AL, 81 RBIs to lead the majors. We're tied in the six, one man on, no doubt. Look at that look of Rodrigo Lopez. It's a look at disgust. Shock. He's stunned. Four 60 feet and then again it's it's not a replay this one off a of buddy groom unbelievable delgado 25 homers he had five rbis in the jays victory delgado has 86 rbis and it's not even july it's the most rbi before the end of june since juan gonzalez had 96 and 98. the only time you'll find me upset is 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 is, is the losing part and then just get the sign and throw it and shake and make ESPN Classic Lou Pinella style. D-Rays and Yanks, top of the first one on, one out. Jason Giambi, his 20th of the year, a top 10 nominee. 20 more homers for Jason now in eight straight seasons. Yankees up two to nothing. Top of the seventh tie game at two. Stan Bridge still pitching. That might have been a mistake. Raul Mondesi takes advantage. His 14th. Mondesi, two for four. He's hitting 276. It's 4 2 Yanks. Bottom eight, two out. Newly acquired Dan Maselli just got in at 3 a.m. with two on. He gets Aubrey Huff on the ground. Right back at him. Threat over Maselli. Gets some love from his new teammates. He admitted later he was nervous. Top of the ninth. Men on second and third. One out. Mariano Rivera on. Facing Al Martin, the pitch hitter. On the ground, the runners advance, the run scores. Devil Rays within one. Next batter is your pinch hitter, Ben Greve, with a man on third. Greve just watching. Yanks win, 12 save and 13 chances. Lou Pinella visibly upset over Greve just standing there. After the game, Pinella explained his position after the game. I asked him if the ball was high, and he says, I thought it was high. I said, why don't you say something? He said, it doesn't matter. I said, well, what, what the hell you mean it doesn't matter? It matters to me, and it matters to everybody else. Rivera is a tough pitcher. I'm, I'm not expecting anything. I'm expecting if you think that the ball is high, you tell the umpire it's high. Instead of walking off to the damn dugout and then getting a response like that after we busted our ass out there for nine innings trying to win a baseball game, it does matter. It matters to me and it matters to a lot of damn people in this clubhouse. And when it matters to everybody, we'll start winning more damn baseball games around here. 
Page said he actually told his manager that was the umpire that said he didn't care. Pedro Martinez looking for his first win since May 15th. Tigers, Red Sox, Martinez striking out young, swinging. Pedro struck out the side in the third. He came in 3-0 with a 0.36 ERA in his last four home starts. Trot Nixon. Uh-oh, Dimitri Young, all sorts of trouble. The drops were a double. Nixon, three for four, three RBI. Ortiz and Millar with scores, 3-1 Boston. Can we take another look at what happened to uh, D.Y.'s feet? Whoops. Exactly, Stan. Top of the fifth now, 5-1. Martinez facing Bobby Higginson. Oh, some curve, huh? Eight Ks for Pedro, but Higginson didn't like the call. And for arguing balls and strikes, folks, you get ejected. Alan Trammell comes out to argue. He gets ejected as well. Red Sox win. In Anaheim, Gilmesh is trying to become a 10-game winner for Seattle. Bottom second, 1-0 Angels, two on. Benji Molina facing Mesh. That ball hit off home plate. Jeff Cerullo can't handle it. Brad former scores, it's 2-0 Angels. Top seven, 8-6 Mariners. Edgar Martinez at bat with one on. Now, Edgar came into the game second all-time in RBI in M's history. Ken Griffey Jr. is the all-time leader. Jay Buhner, Alvin Davis, and A-Rod also on the list. Martinez facing Ben Weber from Thursday night. Well hit deep to right center field. Way back, and this one is gone. Goodbye, baseball. Edgar Martinez is now the all-time RBI leader in Seattle Mariners history. In case you were keeping track, 1,153 career RBI, 10-6 Mariners. Bottom eight, same score. Grant Fulmer facing Shigatoshi Hasegawa. Fulmer thrown out at first. He steps on first base and crumbles. Ruptured his patella tendon in his right knee. He'll have surgery in the next few days. He could be out for the season. Ouch. Next generation of the Oakland A's trying to split the series with Texas. Miguel Tejada as Captain Picard. Tim Hudson as William Riker. And Eric Chavez as Lieutenant Commander Data. Linda, you digging this? Oh, yeah. Bottom first. Tejada. Line Great drive. grab to rob Michael Young. Looks like a Sports Center top 10 plays nominee to me. Bottom second, one nothing A's. Mark Tashira facing Tim Hudson. And we'll be seeing Hudson. Seven innings of work, no earned runs, eight Ks in the ballgame. Top third, two nothing A's. Ismail Valdez on the mound for the Rangers. Eric Chavez, glad to see him. His 16th of the year, three run shot, five nothing A's. Top four, six nothing A's. Valdez facing Tejada. No need to chase it. It's gone. He's 15th of the year. Two-run shot. 8 nothing A's. And keep piling it on. Top six, 9 nothing A's. Jay Powell on the mound for Texas. Ramon Hernandez finds one he likes. Three-run shot. His 10th. A's going to win it. 13 nothing. He's the it guy in Major League Baseball right now. He's given his sport flash. He's given the Florida Marlins juice. And let's face it, Dontrell Willis is vim and vigor. Not bad for a pitcher who began the year in double-A and has gone 6-0 and with an ERA of 0.84 in his last six starts. And, oh, by the way, he's already thrown a one-hitter. He came against the Mets. Encore, anybody? Dontrell and the Marlins. Willis coming off two straight shutouts, 7-1 with a 2.38 ERA this year. Willis, his delivery, you could call it unorthodox. Let's take a look at some other unusual wind-ups of the past. Fernando Valenzuela, of course, of the Dodgers. And what about fellow Dodger Hideo Nomo? Oh, speaking of unique, but for other reasons, Mark the Bird Fitterich. Oh, no, he had a weird delivery, too. And, of course, who didn't love Louis Tion? Bottom of the third, two on, two out. Willis all over Jeremy Burnett, seven Ks. Top of the sixth, Aaron Heilman making his major league debut for the Mets, facing Willis. Willis in the box, contact. Derek Lee is going to score, but the thing you want to watch here is Willis, his hustle. Yeah, the pitcher is going to be tagged out at second, and he tries for the extra base doing so, and the head first slide. Yeah, No fear. No fear, baby. Told you the kid had juice. Now 5 1, 2 on, 2 out. Willis striking out Shinjo. Bottom of the seventh. Oh, he's okay. He's staying in the game. Two out, still 5 1. Willis striking out Ty Wigginton. Willis goes seven to win his seventh straight game. One perspective in the live ball era. Dontrell Willis is the fourth pitcher before the age of 22 to win eight of his first 10 career starts. The other three, Fernando, the Bird, and Daffy. Linda, do I have them in vigor or do I need to get some? Let me think about it. Brewers and Cubs from Wrigley. Cubs blew a 5-1 to one lead on Wednesday. Remember that. Top second, Mark Pryor facing Richie Sexton. And Sexton goes down looking. Two batters later, Wes Helms swung, but it didn't matter. Next batter, Keith Osick. He swung two, but Pryor struck out five through the first two innings. Bottom five, Cubs up 1-0. Wayne Franklin facing Sammy Sosa. 
Look out on Waveland Avenue. There's one coming in. Tenth of the season for Sammy Cubs up 3-0. Top six. Keith Ginter off prior. Into the basket and left. Two run shot. Brewers down 3-2. Now watch this. I'm watching. This is the top ten nominee. Watch what happens to the ball. Dad helps his little girl get it. She said, I don't want this. Precious. They teach him young in Chicago. Bottom seven. Prior with 10 Ks and counting. Richie Sexton makes 11. John Vanderwall, you're number 12. Wes Helms, that's 13. Keith Osick, number 14. Enrique Cruz, 15. Pinch hitter Brooks Kieschnick, no chance. Number 16 for Pryor, eight innings of work, 16 Ks, 126 pitches. Kieschnick, nowhere near it. So Dave Campbell, what's up with Pryor? 126 pitches is the second most Mark Pryor's ever thrown in a major league game, and Dusty Baker was torn between what he was seeing, the dominance of Pryor, versus worrying about what might happen down the road if Pryor maybe threw 140 pitches to complete the game. Even though Dusty's disdainful of pitch counts, trust me, pitch counts do matter. That's the fourth time Pryor's thrown 120 or more pitches this year. Well, pitch counts matter, but this matters a little bit more. Joe Borowski on. Jeff Jenkins out. Three-run shot. Number 19 on the season for Jenkins, and the Brewers come back to win it 5-3. 4 and 10 on the season, looking for his third straight win. Bottom four, 2 0 in Chicago, Burley. All over Torrey Hunter. Career high, 9 Ks for Mark Burley. Top of the six, same score, 2 on for Jose Valentin. There's a base hit. It's a base hit, all right. Maglio Adonia scores easily. Brian Dahlbach rounds third. Valentin, 2 for 4, 2 RBI. Uh oh. Dahlbach and Valentin both score on that play. Got away from Matt LaCroix. Valentin credit with a double. It's 5 0 in Chicago. Bottom nine, 5 1 now. Runner on second for Doug Mankiewicz. Burley covers for the final out. Complete game effort. How rare. Pitcher who goes the distance. Tenth of his career. White Sox win 5-1. to one. Royals and Indians hooked up at Jacobs Field. Jose Lima and KC started Thursday in first place. We go to the Wayback Machine to show you the last time they were in first place this late in the season. George Brett was around 1987. Jim Eisenreich was there finding the gaps as well. Back to Thursday night. Bottom four, Cleveland trailing one nothing. Jose Lima to John McDonald, bases loaded, and McDonald to Lima, and that'll end the inning. Bottom six, Cleveland down three nothing. Lima to Ben Broussard. Broussard grounds the first. Ken Harvey throws the second and back to a sliding Lima. Three six one DP there. Bottom nine, Cleveland down four to one. Mike McDougal to Casey Blake. Aaron Guile, give me some glove. Two batters later, McDougal facing Brandon Phillips. And he's free to leave. Royals going to win it, four to one. So let's talk about those Royals. Since Mike Sweeney's bad back forced him out of the lineup on June 18th, Kansas City has won five of seven and has climbed back into first place in the AL Central. Kansas City is eight and five overall without Sweeney in the lineup.